most people on YouTube, y'all know Big Rocky from a comics perspective. And as always, man, another positive and inspirational message, man. Hope everybody's having a positive, productive day. And you know what time is? I'm going to smash, dash, slide on through with a little bit of energy. So before we get to this video, man, let's hit that like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support your boy, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. Now, the next topic that I'm going to discuss, right, is something that people have been talking about. You know, especially when I was first locked up, man, there was all kinds of different rumors, as you guys know, people talking about that. I got into a fight in here, and I got moved around, and, you know, people, you know, making other allegations of different charges I had, and, you know, people, uh, people saying, who am I going to be running with? People said, oh, he got the feather on his neck, he's going to run with the, the natives, which is Chiefs, and, you know, everybody having a whole different type of theory of what, what I'm going to do when I get to prison, if I go to prison, okay? Now, there's a good likelihood a very short chance that I'm probably going to be doing some time. And I realize that. And, you know, it's, it's a little bit different, you know, going to do time years later, in my life, right? After everything that I've been through and, and went down in my life, okay? But I got to take this in full stride. And the thing is, is, talking to myself, I've been talking to other people about where do I stand when I go to prison? You know what I'm saying? What, what do I anticipate on doing? And the thing is, when I get to prison, I only have one focus, one focal point, and that's to continue to build up the foundation that I'm already laying for myself today, to rehabilitate myself, to, you know, continue to strive to be a better man, you know, take classes, take courses, you know, you know learn to have a better relationship with my higher power. And of course, I want to be of service to people. I want to help people while I'm incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, my, my, my celly, he's already, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be leaving pretty soon, going into a treatment center. You know, uh, about a week ago, they were dead set on giving him prison time, sending him back to prison for six years, which he would have did 85% of that, you know? And, you know, he's, his whole attitude has changed. He wrote a letter to the judge, and at just turning 21 years old with a rap sheet that he has already, the likelihood of them giving him a chance on probation sometimes was very unlikely, man, but he's able to go back out there to the street. He's going to be able to go out through the streets to a program and be there for his daughter, okay? So me, am I going to go in there trying to politics? Am I going to go in there trying to run with anybody? No, nah, I'm not going to do any of that. I've already made a decision. Where I, when I go to prison, I'm going to go wherever they put me. I'm going to surround myself with like-minded people, you know? with those who have just as much to lose as myself. When you have people who have just as much to lose as yourself in your circle, and you guys are all striving for equal goals and ambitions, you know, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to see a lot more success and a lot less drama and BS and toxicity coming your way. And so that's gonna be the key for me is, like I told you guys before, I already started my recovery. I've already started my rehabilitation. My mind is, is set. So when I go there, you know, wherever you decide to house me, wherever you decide to put me, that's where I'm going to go. I'm not going to associate myself with any particular car or, or whatnot. You know, and, and here naturally I gravitate towards the Nasa. You know, I mean, I was sticking my now when I was out there for five time. You know, I had one dude, one dude next to me, he's a, he's a south side of Montana, you know what I'm saying? But another dude next to me, he's a, he's a crypt from out here. And then another dude in front of me, he's from a hood out here that's known as uh, Barrio Hollywood, which is the oldest neighborhood basically in Tucson, which is, a, you know, a, a group, a gang that's pretty much associated with the big homies in AC. But I kind of find it interesting, like, man, like, you know, the, the same type of, you know, hanky that you have in California, it's, it's almost the same, except for without that, there's a lot, of, how do you say, I can say boundaries or anything like that. There's a lot more opportunity to do your time without having to have the effects of the politics. If you want to be involved in politics when you go to these prison yards, you can do that. You know, so you can go politics. You can go be involved in, in the different rackets, the, the gambling, the dope, all those things that are on prison yards. They're in prison yards in California and every other prison in the United States. If I if I wanted to. But me, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to surround myself with those that are gonna help help the thing, help push me in the right direction. So I'm not going to sit there and say, okay, I'm going to run with a doctor, I'm going to run with these people. Nah. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to run with myself. 
building myself. And if people have like-minded goals, those are the people I'm going to gravitate for. So I don't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a, a different, different experience. But it's just kind of interesting how when I got locked up, how many different rumors are circulating. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. And the thing is, is the truth would be, to be honest with you guys, is I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there. I don't know what the truth is. I'm just going to get there to do my time. If I get there, which, if I was a betting man, I'd say more likely I am going to end up having to do some prison time. You know, but as far as my affiliations and all that stuff, my whole goal is to come out a better man than what I was up in the street. And so each day I got to thrive. You know, that's the whole goal for anybody, you know. But you got to go do some jail time or join some prison time currently. Make use of your time. Learn a trade. Go to school. You know what? When I was doing prison time as a youngster, I never I never got certified in any trade. I never got any type of, you know, uh, college courses or services because I was too involved in the prison policy. I was too involved in the function. And all the education I got was basically self taught. You know, so this time I'm going to take advantage of, you know, working on myself and being a better man. You know what I'm saying? Does it mean that I'm going to go in there like some reading and, you know, or power like that? Hell no. I'm always going to be who I am. I'm always going to stand chain to down anywhere I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to pose no threat. Right? But I'm not going to let nobody, you know, put themselves to be a threat towards me. Anywhere I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have a set plan or direction of how things are going to go. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? More than likely because of, of you know, my... Uh, my California affiliations are more likely to probably sell me up probably, you know, with, with other Rafa or whatnot. But nowadays they have that IHP where they can just they can sell you up with anybody. And in this county jail they do that, believe it or not. They, they have to sign over here. They they have, they don't sell you up. They're not allowed to be selling up with your own race, which is a trick. You know? You can't you can't have Mexican up with a Mexican or black with a black or white with a white. It's a trick. You know what I'm saying? Like, if in California, you shit would have kicked off all the way over that. You know what I mean? All the time you're in a, in a section with another race, if you're in a dorm and they happen to be in there, man. But over here, it's, it's, it's totally different, man. So, I don't know if they're interested in, like, getting there, man. But, you know, there's been a lot of rumors. A lot of people have, like, talked out of turn without realizing where my head's at or what I plan on doing. And like I said, I plan on going there and doing positive. You know, I plan on working on myself, you know. I'm still, like I said, fresh right now. You know, I have that pink cloud I talk about. I'm on that, that honeymoon stage of recovery right now. So, of course, I'm feeling real good. And I'm real inspired. And I'm saying all the right things, but I'm ready for the spiritual test. I'm ready for those things that are going to come my way and what my reactions are going to be to that. You know, I've proven before, like I said, you know, years ago, you know, I did a lot of time in recovery. I had a good foundation. I threw it all away. So I can't go into this too conceited or too much of a know-it-all. I got to figure out what I can grab this time, what I can learn this time that I didn't learn last time. You know, what did I maybe, you know, like a sponge, you soak in the glue, squeeze out the bag. Maybe there's some stuff that I squeezed out last time that I should have kept in. And so that's going to be my whole perspective. And because we need to be analytical. I'm, I'm a very analytical person. I try to see things to through different lenses, and, and that way I can come to what I see is a sense of what's practical, what's real, and, you know, what's going to what's gonna basically help me, you know, and we're all different. So it's like, it's like throwing spaghetti at the wall. You know saying? You don't know which spaghetti strip's going to stick, but eventually it's going to stick, and that's what I'm trying to do, man, because as much success as I had in past tense, you know what I mean? I was successful. But currently, I have a lot of work to do, so I can't just go in there thinking, oh, I know what I need to do. And I can't think like I'm 20 years, 20 years younger than because I'm not. I'm approaching 50 years of age. And it's unfortunate that at 50 years of age, I, I'm put in a position to where I'm going to probably have to do some prison time. You know? But like I said, I, I got to think positive, but I got to go in there and stay away from all the BS. And, you know, there's a way to do that. If you focus on you and yourself, not worry about all the other BS, not worry about your ego, not worry about your reputation, you know, and, and just stay in tune with yourself and your higher power, if you have one, you're going to be able to look the way throughout, throughout anything. I mean, that's one thing that I've learned 
you know, that my biggest problem on a day-to-day -day basis is how far off is that relationship with my higher power? And I know I've said this before, but I think it's more important for people to understand. When that relationship is good, right, everything else, all the problems that come in life, they don't, they don't mean shit. It's like having a cup, right? Every day, you fill it up with shit. So every day, you got to get rid of those problems. So when I have that relationship with my higher power and I'm dealing with shit, it's not going to affect me like it used to. Yeah, I'm not going to self-sabotage. I'm not going to start to act all radical and, you know, uh, like a Jekyll and Hyde, what's it called, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde and stuff like that, and just act out of character. Now I'm more focused. And I know that currently everything's fresh, everything's new. And I, I'm really one that acknowledges that, you know, and, and I'm accountable that I made a lot of poor choices out there. You know, I made a lot of decisions that were unhealthy. Therefore, you know, uh, I'm ready to step in accountability for those those choices and decisions. But I know here going forward, like I said before, man, that the combat's going to be real, man. You know, and every day you're going to see a better version of Flocko. Because everybody's always put the shit and say, okay, you have the old Flocko, you should do this, you should do that, he's really good about things and no positive. That was the old Flocko. I want to be even a better version of that Flocko. And, I, you know, I'm privileged in a lot of senses because how many of us really get the chance to say, man, you know what? I get to work on myself. You know, I got the time to, you know, focus on all these issues I had and, you know what I'm saying, make things right, make amends with people and, you know, build stronger and better relationships. A lot of times when you're out there in the real life world, you don't have that time. So currently, I'm going to take advantage of that. For anybody that's doing time, I hope you really, really, really understand that. Take the time while you're in here to work on yourself. Take that time to focus on all the negative character defects and whatnot and, you know, put those old attitudes to the past and, just, you know, build yourself as a better man that's dancing forward. And this can go on to the streets as well. Everything that we talk about, I talk about on, on here, could also apply to you out there in the streets, man. It's that youngster that, you know what I'm saying, going through out there that, you know, doing what he does, that's that fucking... That, that thumper with a 30 round stick, you know what I'm saying, out there doing what he does, or to that mom out there that's struggling, man, you know, is worried about a kid. When we, when we have that belief and we try, right, there's other options to the way that we're living than the way we've been. And that's what I try to tell everybody that I come in contact with, man. And, you know, today I was talking, and I don't know how you guys feel about this, right, the viewers, but we were talking about, we have like a lot of uh, fellowship sessions, right? We talk about prison, we talk about, you know, our higher power beliefs and whatnot, but a lot of positive stuff comes out of congregating together and putting forth different ideals, right, and how to deal with issues when you're around other intelligent people that have like-minded goals. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys are interested in that, maybe I'll do a recording. Man. It may be a little bit loud in the background, you know, but I think that it can actually help a lot of people out there, man. And like I said, at the end of the day, this is a common perspective, man. You know, I, I don't... I don't work with who I am. I, I know what I've been through. I know what I've done. And I'm trying to be proof that even as a former convict, you can be a better man. So that's it. HTP, Big Rockets, I'm out.